We are live from the Time Warner Cable Arena in Charlotte, North Carolina, as we get set for the Charlotte Bobcats against the visiting L.A. Clippers. Hi, everybody. Welcome to tonight's game. Mark Alvin, along with Steve Kerr. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups as we close in on the opening tip. All right, we're getting underway. Steve, what's the game plan for the Bobcats here tonight? Well, the idea against Baron Davis is to keep him out of the lane because that, that's what makes his club go. But it's a lot easier said than done. He's strong, he's quick, he's explosive. And if you give him room, he'll knock down that three-point shot, too. The pass to Camby. Wallace able to reach for him. by Camden. Mark, the dribbler and the screener have to come off shoulder to shoulder. Otherwise, you let the defender slide right through. Gordon finding the open bag. Barrett Davis able to knock it down. Good high percentage shot there, Marvin. That's exactly what this club needs offensively. Good rhythm, create good looks for yourself, and if you get that kind of shot all night, you'll be in pretty good shape. And it's a three-second violation. Steve, what do you think? Uh, good call. I know you're constantly checking out those three-second violations. I thought it was a little quick, Barb. Looked like he was only in there for maybe 2.9, and all of a sudden, you know, the ref calls it, and we're going the other way. It's a, a rare call. You don't see that often. And rebounded by Chandler. Barb, you've got to finish that play. When you get into the paint, you get that kind of penetration, you have to come away with some points. Delivery to Bell. Seven on the 24. Pass to Diaw. Down to one. And bars Diaw. Misses. One second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Terrific offense, Mar. That's exactly what you want, getting something in the paint close to the basket, but they just didn't convert. Gordon gets it right back. And scores. Felton using the pick. Nice crossover. And Raymond Felton was able to swing his way. So we have seen solid basketball in this first quarter. Well, it's kind of been a feeling out process for both sides, Mark. Neither team able to get much of a lead here in the first quarter. So they expect some changes, some wrinkles here in the second quarter from each coach. Felton came up looking so we'll see if he's able to play through it. That's pretty good offense, Marv. There, good spacing, good ball movement. They get all the way to the rim. Can't finish the play, though. The pass to Davis. Rebound by Chandler. Felton bringing it across. Snatched by Davis. Dia for the block shot. Oh, a hustle there just could not save it. You know, we see that pretty often. Our guys uh, maybe stepping backwards off of a three-point shot or, or maybe driving baseline and stepping on that line. It, it's a little tougher than it looks sometimes to keep your foot out of that out-of-bounds area. Wallace ends up with it. Well, in a close game, Marv, you can't give up anything easy in this team playing tough defense inside. Delivery to Wallace. Felton on a quick release off the mark from downtown. Pass to Davis.
He fires from downtown. And Baron Davis able to knock it down. So that's their first three of the night. Baron Davis with such terrific body control in shooting that fadeaway jumper. Well, and, and at times, Marv, I think he bails himself out with it. But that's one of the reasons he doesn't shoot a high percentage. I think he relies on that shot a little too often. Boris Diaw able to hit. On a quick release. And the field goal. Falcons two for six from the field. The Bobcats in a close ball game as we head to the second half, but they must be wary of the fact they've been a very poor third quarter team. Well, I'm sure that's what the talk focused on at halftime. This club needs to come out with some intensity in this third quarter and try to reestablish a low post game. Very ill-advised shot, Marv, but really the result of very poor execution on that possession. And Boris Dia called for the foul. That's his first. Griffin at the line, first time tonight. He converts on the second after missing the first. Felton in possession. Offensive foul, so the ball will go back to the Clippers. Well, you can hear the impact of that collision. No question about the call. Yeah, very physical play there. And, Marvin, you know, I never used to take charges like that. I played what was called Matador defense. Just let him go and get the ball back as quickly as possible so I could launch a three at the other end. The pass to Camby. Shot clock at seven. Camby drive the fade away, and he hits it. This has been a clinic offensively, Marv. They're running their sets beautifully, spacing the floor, getting good shots, getting the ball inside. They're showing it all tonight. Delivery to Bell. He shoots from three-point territory. Davis moving it across. out by Chandler. Felton walks to the front court. Here's Dio. And the field goal. Four second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Davis fires again. Handled by Ben. And we got it by Campbell. And he flings it. And that's the end of the third quarter. The Bobcats trail by two. Steve, as we start the fourth quarter, neither team able to take command. What are you looking for here in the fourth? Well, in a close game like this one, Marvin, it, oftentimes it's the little things. Who can take a charge? Who can come up with loose balls? If you can get to the line and maybe get out and transition, get an easy basket, those kinds of plays could be the difference. And Tyson Chandler not able to hit. Marvin, they have to get a better shot than that. It's a very poor offensive execution. Thornton on a quick release from downtown, controlled by Ben. Steve, these are important possessions. Pass 
pass to Bell. Diaz backing his way, and he's rejected. Davis walks it across. Here's the screen. Griffin with a nice pass. Rejected. Griffin able to chase it down. And Tyson Chandler called for the foul. That's his first. Griffin at the line. this fourth quarter. Charlotte down by four. Bell trying to get free off the pick. Let's it fly. The Bobcats keep it alive. Dia has his shot block. Oh, what a move. Bob, you gotta love the hustle and the energy. The offensive putback. Extra possessions down the stretch. That's what decides ball games. Gets the screen. Davis with a nice crossover move. Grant by Felt. And Larry Brown wants to talk. Mark, every coach in the NBA has a menu of what they call ATOs, after timeout plays. They're going to go to something they're very comfortable with, probably try to get the ball to their go-to man. the screen. Down to 30 seconds to go in the fourth. Charlotte down by two. Oh, a great duck. Excellent defense there, Mark. The defender takes a good angle, not allowing the ball handler to turn the corner. 20 seconds left in the quarter, and we're all tied. Marcus Candy weighs it in. What a pass to set it up. And Larry Brown looking to talk it over. Mark, this is where coaches look at their menu of ATOs after timeout plays. Everybody's got them. They're going to look at matchups here, try to pick the best one, and try to get a score. Just looking to stop the clock. He'll go to the line. Davis at the line for the first time. He needs to make two here to give his team a little breathing room. Put them up by four. It's a four-point advantage. Charlotte takes a timeout. Delmar, the big thing here is that it's a two-possession game. So whether you go for a two or a three really doesn't matter. The main thing is get yourself an open shot and then immediately try to force a turnover or commit a foul and get that clock stop. Try to get the ball back.
Wallace gets it back to him. Well, they had to stop the clock, and they give the foul. Gordon at the line, first time tonight. the foul line and now up by six final seconds and he'll just fire one up what a poor shooting performance tonight i would think they would like to file this game somewhere and forget about it the charlotte bobcats could not come away with it final score is 18 to 12. this is marv albert along with steve kerr saying so long from the tie water cable arena in charlotte